is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today we have a very special video for you guys it is the massive box full of horror action figures you guys can see here we have this really big box massive is what i'm gonna call it because it is massive i mean it's a massive box of action figures and today they are horror themed and we are revisiting this video i did this video about a year ago and i deemed it the massive box full of horror action figures video and it is the most viewed video on the channel and i thank you guys so very much for that and uh, hopefully this one can do the same thing and you know reach those astronomical numbers which is absolutely ridiculous if you guys missed the first version definitely go check that out it's definitely the most viewed video on the channel and today we're going to revisit it we have a lot more action figures in this one than that one i think in this one we have around 30 or 35 figures and in that one we only had like 16 maybe or less so this one's got it's got a lot more going on with it we got all the guys featured i mean there, there were some horror icons that weren't even featured in that video so today we're going to redeem ourselves and we're going to go after it and cover this entire box full of horror action figures so let's go ahead and dive right in guys we're going to start off with uh i think this is the most recent movie that was released since that video that we did on the channel and this is the 2018 halloween michael Myers from NECA looks absolutely fantastic. Ton of great details going on. That is something that NECA always does well is uh, their details, man. They always nail their details. They're sculpting everything. And a huge shout out to NECA for sending us this figure our way. And a huge shout out to NECA for all of these wonderful figures. A lot of these figures are from NECA and they just totally kill it and we appreciate them so very much. So definitely check out NECA and all of their epic horror action figures. But there's the first one in this video. Next up guys, instead of going for something more recent, we are going all the way back to 1990 with the the original Pennywise from the original It, and it looks great. I really like this figure. This is one of the newer ones. This is the re-release that I got, and um, I think the only difference between this one and uh, is the, the first version is I think that the sleeves have like a sheen to them. I think that's the only difference in these. This is more of like a, uh, I, I, I don't want to say realistic because they're both realistic, but I think this one has a more shimmer, more pearlescent going on on the sleeves, which I think would be more accurate to the, to the Tim Curry. Pennywise, but um, I like both of them. You can see here we got the monster hand and the pointing finger over here, and then we sort of have like some grabbing hands or reaching out hands in this one. So I really like it. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like the wide open laughing mouth better, or do you like the creepy smile better? Let me know down in the comment section below. Another comparison that we need to do, guys, is the 2017 remake Pennywise compared to the original 1990. Let me know down in the comment section below which one you would choose. This is the first release, I do believe, from NECA of the 2017 remake Pennywise. And they did such a fantastic job on this. I really like the colors going on. Totally two different versions. I mean, you got to see that this is more of like your original take on a clown. And this is just sort of a different take. I mean, the, the, the costume is crazy. I mean, he's still got the iconic buttons here. But as far as original design goes, I mean, they are completely different. So I, I hats off to the creators for that to, you know, give us a, a, a way different look at the second go around. So that is it for our two different versions of Pennywise. But we do have one more Pennywise in this video video and it is from the whale house in the 2017 remake i mean look at this right here guys you let's get a zoom in shot on this face right quick look at all this detail going on we got the interchangeable head in there just beautiful looking stuff and you can't actually pull this all the way out if you wanted to you got the hand coming out again and just fantastic looking work from NECA and their figures i mean the detail on this is absolutely insane and i think this is a re-released version of that figure and it has just it's it's much better articulated that other one's kind of loosey goosey and they actually kind of fixed that with the second go around so hats off to them for that as well next up guys we are going to go back here to freddy versus jason right here with our freddy versus jason jason figure from NECA and this is probably one of my least favorite designs of jason i just do not like the freaking gene simmons style boots they got going on i mean look at that platform right there that is thick af and um the actor that they chose to play jason was not tall enough i think they were supposed to go with kane hodder they decided that you know kane hodder is not tall enough so they went with another guy and and even that guy wasn't tall enough, so they're like, you know what, let's just give him 7-inch boots here, and he should be tall enough. So that's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I, I can't stand these boots. I think they're awful, but uh, for the most part, um, you know, it's it's not terrible, but it's definitely not one of my favorites. Here's what Jason looks like underneath the mask, and he just looks, I mean, my God, just, just look at him. Moving on, guys, we have the NECA Part 6 Jason, and this is a really cool accessory that we got going on right here, and I do believe this came in the NECA accessories pack for this figure. You 
got a nice metal chain going on from part six. This is the ending, obviously, where he gets killed. They, they wrap the chain around his neck, throw it in the lake there with the rock, and it sinks to the bottom, and that is how they sort of, you know, get rid of Jason for, for the time being until part seven. But I really enjoy this design of Jason. I always love the yellow gloves. I always thought that it broke up the contrast, especially with this belt going on and, like, his utility weapons all going around. And so I, I always like this version of Jason. I think it's one of the better-looking versions, so I really enjoy this figure. Next up, guys, we have Leatherface represented, and this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and this is from the OG. He's got his apron on, which is cloth, which is very, very nice. You got all the nice colors going on. It's more of, like, a beige slash yellow going on, and you got the blood splatter all over the chainsaw, all over his apron, and this is just a really nice figure on Leatherface, one of my favorites by far. And we need more Leatherface figures, man. I feel like we're missing a lot, so I would really appreciate if we could get some Leatherface figures. I'm not sure on their license deal or anything like that, but I would really appreciate it if we could get some more Leather Faces in the house, man. Moving on, guys, we have a couple Chucky figures, and one of these is from Bride of Chucky, which is this one, and then the other one is from Child's Play 3, and I like both of them a lot. I really think that uh, Chucky looks better in Bride of Chucky. I just think that it has that, you know, early 2000s look to him. He's sort of got some edginess to him, so I really like that. Um, both of them look great, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I just always liked uh, this look of Chucky better. Both of these figures are very cool. I love them. I, I love the sizing of these. The scale is really cool, and I think that NECA did a fantastic job on these, and I'm sure, I think it'd be really cool if NECA would create a, uh, you know, a version of the re-release that we just got this year, so that would be a pretty cool figure. I wonder if they're even working on that. I guess we'll have to see, but there is Chucky. Next up, guys, we have our first Freddy figure, and this is from Part 2. Really like the sculpt that's going on with this figure. I mean, look at that screaming head sculpt. Looks great. I really do enjoy this. It's definitely my favorite Freddy in the collection that we have because uh, I, I really don't like the rest of them. The rest of them, I think one of ours is missing a hat and a hand for a wrestling figure custom, and then uh, this one's just, uh, I don't know, I just think, oh my god, I dropped his hat, gone forever. Just kidding, it's right here, I found it. But nonetheless, really strong looking uh, Freddy. This is definitely my favorite one in the collection. You guys will see the rest in the rest of the video, but I really like this one from part two. Really good stuff. Next up, guys, we have another Freddy versus Jason. Jason, but this time the machete is not on fire, but uh, yeah, we have a couple of these because, you know, we like to get the different versions of Jason. There's a ton of Jasons in this video, and you guys will see that. Part 3, Part 4, Part 5, we have all the different versions. And here is, a, yeah, another Freddy vs. Jason Jason. Next up, guys, we have another Jason from Friday the 13th. This is from Part 2, obviously. And this is our first look at adult Jason. I mean, in the first one, you know, he just comes out of the lake there at the end. His mother was, of course, the, the killer in the original, and so this is our first look at Jason before he donned the mask. And he has the bag over his head and the pickaxe. Really nice figure. I think this is very underrated from NECA. That plaid they got going on under the overalls is really nice. All the dirt going on. Really one of my favorite Jason figures. I think it's just over the top. You know, it's got a blend of all these different colors and it, it really stands out. Next up, guys, we have a figure that, uh, well, I guess you can call it a figure. I mean, it's got some articulation, but it's mainly a statue. And this is a Part 7, Friday the 13th, Part 7. This is our Kane Hodder that we have here. And this is from NECA, I do believe, but it is a statue. I want a full-fledged NECA ultimate figure with all the articulation, all the bells and whistles from NECA. I really do want it. And what I'm thinking is, I know right now there's some licensing issues, you know, people not wanting to give up the license, and just a bunch of freaking stuff going on in the court system right now, but if we end up getting a Kane Hodder, a Part 7 NECA, I'm going to buy like 25 of them. They look just so beautiful. I would love to see what this would look like in, you know, fully articulated mode. Also, another thing I would like to note is that if they were to make this figure, they're going to have to recreate the entire Jason mold because most of the Jasons they have given us so far have roughly the same mold. I know the Freddy vs. Jason and the Part 2 are a little bit different than the rest, but the Part 3, the Part 4, the Part 5, and the Part 6 have roughly the same mold, so they would have to definitely overhaul it and get all of this sculpt detail in here. I mean, look at his freaking spine is showing. They have a lot of stuff going on, um, and this sculpt work is incredible. I mean, it looked, that is exactly how Kane Hodder looked in Part 7 uh, as Jason. So I think that uh, if they were to completely overhaul it, you know, give it some beefy muscle, because Kane Hodder's a big dude, I think it's something that they, that they would nail if they were to venture out on it. But unfortunately, 
we are going to have to wait on that to see if the day will come. Next up, guys, we have nothing special here, but we do have Tiffany from Bride of Chucky, and she's carrying the shovel here. You know, I just stuck on. Uh, I have her wearing the leather jacket. They get, In this figure, they actually give you a bunch of different accessories to give her a bunch of different looks, but I wanted uh, this look. I think I like the leather jacket look. Next up, guys, we have another Jason, and it is, uh, I think this is our first look at a part three, and it is the Mezco version, and this one's completely different than the NECA version, and what we can do here is compare it to the uh, NECA version. So the NECA version is much bigger, but I think that this one in the skin is much more realistic. I like the neck going on on here, uh, but it's much smaller. I mean, look at this difference here. You can kind of see the different takes on the pants. This is more of a light jeans. This is more of like a, uh, almost like a khaki color, but here we have a part three Jason where he is carrying the spear gun, and that is actually the first kill that he had with, uh, you know, donning the mask. So that's pretty cool uh, fact for you there. But uh, nonetheless, I would like to know down in the comment section below, are you Team Mezco or Team NECA? Let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, I think I'm Team NECA. I just can't get over the scaling of the Mezcos, but they are really highly, nicely, you know, they have a lot of detail. They have great cloth accessories and stuff, but for me, I'm Team NECA. Next up, guys, we have two Friday the 13th 2009 remakes right here. One donning the mask and one with the uh, the wrap or bag over his head. I believe it's like a, yeah, I think it's a bag, but it's like all matted and kind of, it kind of looks like a wrap, but I believe it is a bag. Bag. But um, I think this is from, you know, the, the pre-intro or like the little uh, prequel, right? Like before he gets into the main story of the film, this is what he's wearing. And then he's wearing the mask later on, if I'm not mistaken about that. But nonetheless, a very interesting take on Jason. You know, he wasn't just straight up chasing after people and killing them. This Jason had, you know, sort of a, he had a brain in him. He could set traps. He had like a bell system to notify him of when people were, you know, around the area. I mean, he, he was keeping people in cages. I mean, this Jason was a lot more... More, uh, he was a lot smarter than other Jasons, I guess is what you could say, but really cool, uh, you know, representation of Jason. It's definitely a different take, and I can respect that if you're, you know, good. Going a little bit outside of the box, giving it your own creation, creative spin, even though the movie wasn't much of anything. Uh, just your basic slasher, is, in my opinion, is what it was, but nonetheless, a different take on, on the look of Jason. Do you prefer the wrap or the mask? Team mask all the way. Moving on, guys, we have just so many freaking figures, man. I mean, this is ridiculous, but I guess we can get into our video game versions of these figures. We have the NES Freddy, and I think I dropped his hat. Here it is. Let's go ahead and grab it. We have our NES Freddy, and then we have our NES Jason Friday the 13th re-release. This is not the SDC exclusive, and the SDCC exclusive actually has this black line around the collar and down the middle of the t-shirt. That's not a t-shirt, you stupid jackass. That's a regular work shirt. But you're gonna see when we dig in the box, it's under there somewhere. Uh, the original SDCC version, I think from 2013, actually did not have this stripe, so that is something to note. Moving on guys, we have a part 5 Jason from, G uh, this is the dream sequence part 5 Jason, and uh, NECA went for the version of trying to make him look wet, and I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but he is, he's donning like a uh, like a, a shine, uh, like a shimmer to him, the mask also has it, but we have two different versions here, you got some worms coming up out of the mask here, you also have just a regular version, and over here he's carrying the axe, and over here he's carrying the machete, and these are pretty much just like part 3 and part 4, a little bit differently, but uh, if you were to compare the figures up side by side. I mean, they're relatively the same figure, just, you know, from different movies. And so uh, there are these. And I'm still waiting on my part five that is should be releasing very soon, or it has released. I'm just waiting on mine to get here. So that will be exciting to add. Next up, guys, we have a part three, and then we have a part four here. And this is what I'm talking about. You guys can see you have the part three with the pitchfork, and then you have the part four over here. Very, very similar figures. I mean, they're basically the same figure, different variations of color here and there uh, of course you have the different pocket you have the differences in the pockets but for the most part I mean they're relatively the same and we have many of these we have like three or four part threes and three or four part fours and you will see this in this video next up guys we have another Mezco figure and this is the Mezco Michael Myers from the original Halloween and you can just see the difference here guys I mean look at this we have the NECA 2018 Halloween and then we have the Mezco original and just look at this difference in size I mean look at that right there that is ridiculous how much bigger the NECA figures is and that is why I am team NECA all the way I mean this is great really good details going on but the articulation on this is a bit stiff at times and I, I fear for 
for breaking them because of how expensive they are. And uh, this one's just much bigger and larger, and I just like it a lot. And I would like to see, I don't think they've ever made an original Halloween neck of Michael Myers, so hopefully we can get that one day. But here is the Mezco and another 2018 Halloween Michael. Next up, guys, we have this very sick piece. And what this is is a Mezco Big Styles Part 3 with a glow-in-the-dark mask, believe it or not, and it's very, very interesting. Uh, it's carrying the axe there. It's got some pretty cool articulation on it. Very hefty figure. Like, if you drop this, you would definitely break your foot off. It would definitely do some damage. You could easily break a toe or so, but uh, look at underneath this mask. Look at all this detail going on. Very wicked stuff going on, man. Really creative. Um, I don't even know how much this was, but uh, considering the weight to it and all the details going on with it and just all the detail they put into this thing, it also has the glow-in-the-dark mask, as I mentioned. Um, I would think that this one was pretty expensive. I, I, I do not know. I'll have to get back to you on that. But nonetheless, very badass. Probably one of my favorite figures in the collection just because it's so different. It's just such a cool piece. But there is our uh, different spin on Jason here. Next up, guys, we have our Atari version of Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Mask. And this is a very unique design, I guess. You know, they were like, we made Freddy from NES. We made Jason from NES. We might, we might as well get, make ourselves a leather face from video games. And here we are with the Atari version. Basically, your whole body is green, and then we have a detailed head sculpt. I mean, that's that's pretty much it for this guy. Next up, guys, we have a Freddy from the original Nightmare on Elm Street. And again, he is missing his stripes on his sleeves, and he is missing his gloved hand, and he is missing his hat. This is just what his, his design was. Obviously, he shouldn't be missing the hat or the gloved hand. And uh, I just, again, used it for a custom. I need to get this figure again is what I need to do, you stupid jackass. Fix yourself so you don't have a Freddy without a gloved hand or a hat. Really need to do something about that. Next up, guys, we have a Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. And my God, I, I this is probably my least favorite figure in my collection regarding horror. I mean, this thing is just atrocious. Just pyramid head, awful stuff. Just not good. It's so loosey-goosey. I mean, in retrospect, it's badassery, but I mean, there's a lot of detail going on. I, I think this is from Figma, if I'm not mistaken, and their figures are just awful. I just don't like how small they are. They can break really easy. Um, I apologize to all those Figma lovers out there, but this this is just, just freaking terrible. Very loosey-goosey, very trash, um, but his blade is still badass though. Next up guys, we have literally two more part fours. I told you we have a ton of part fours in this video. There they are. We got we have two different unmasked versions here. One with his hand chopped and an axe. We have another one uh, that's supposed to be wielding a machete with his mask off. And actually here's the mask right here, I do believe. I'll just go ahead and plug that into one of these. And there we go. It's actually still hanging off. So there it is right there. Two different part fours. So you guys can just kind of see what's going on with these. Moving along guys, we have another part three here. And this one this one actually has some problems. I actually have the axe up here. This is supposed to be glued in here. I have an axe here, and we had this axe glued in here, obviously from the movie, and we didn't want it to move. We wanted it to be on display like that because we have three of them or four of them, and so I wanted this to be on display with the axe in the head, but since uh, it snapped out of there, I'm going to have to re-glue that, and that's very unfortunate. I was going to do it for this video, but uh, you know what? F it. I'm actually out of super glue, so that's actually the reason why I'm actually just ran out from making customs of things of that nature so uh, that is unfortunate but uh, we will get that fixed but there's another part three getting into the last two figures i do believe guys we have the original sdcc nes friday the 13th jason and again you can see here that it is missing the black along the collar and it is missing the black straight down the middle here but very interesting uh this is more of a translucent that's another way you can tell from the the sdcc version and the re-release is that the sdcc version has a clear mask uh, with like that blue shimmer to it instead of just being solid blue. So that's just something to take note of as well. But getting into the last figure, and this figure is very expensive, and this figure is definitely very badass, and you can see how massive this is, guys. Like, look how big this box is. Here's my hand. This is a very big box. You saw all those figures in there. Look how gigantic this baby is. Or should I say how big this daddy is because this is Big Daddy from Bioshock by 3-0 Studios. Very, very impressive figure. I think this figure literally is like $300. It has really sick articulation, tons and tons of detail going on. You have boots around the ankles. All the design is correct. I mean, the articulation on this guy is very nice as far as like... I I love the, I think it has ratchet joints. Is that what I'm feeling? I think it's ratchet joints. Um, very just nice, man. I mean, look at this. Look at this drill. It's massive. Look at it in my hand. It looks 
almost like a grenade. Very nice. I love the articulate. It just feels good in the hand. You know when you have a figure that just feels good in the hand. I just love that so much. And so uh, the best design, the best part about this figure is you remove from the tank here in the back and you have uh, these lights here, and there's four different colors. You can go red, you can go green, you can go yellow, and you can go that's it. So I guess there's only, there's only three, and I'm a stupid jackass, but there is the coolest feature. You know, you get this thing going in the dark, you can make his eyes glow. I think I would go with yellow, would probably be the best, or red, I just like both of those the best. Um, but there it is, you have the beautiful looking Big Daddy from Bioshock, and just a huge shout out to 3-0 Studios for this figure, because they, they did a fantastic job, and I had to include it here in the video today. One of the biggest and um, one of the best figures in this video by far. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much. Again, uh, we redid this video. My plan is to redo this video every single year just because, you know, it did so well that first time and I really did want to recreate it. Since we added so many epic figures to the collection since then and all of these wonderful figures, again, most of them are from NECA, so definitely go check them out. I think they have an incredible eBay store and you can grab those locally at Target as well well as Mezco who who also has some figures featured in this video and uh, they are fantastic as well if you want to pick up any of those but thank you guys so very much for watching I hope you guys did enjoy it was longer much longer than the first go around and just what epic figures man I just love the horror genre so much and we are coming into uh, we're almost to Halloween right we're like a month and a half away and uh, it too releases next week if you guys are watching this later on then uh, you guys saw how great that movie was I'm sure but that is going to do it for today's video guys thank you so very much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic horror and WWE action figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you